guys, how are you doing? Give a loser here and we're off for part 5 of Malagenia. I'm very excited to do this lesson because the strumming pattern is something that I know you guys like and you can also use it in any chord variation or progression you guys like. So we got left off in the previous lesson with a nice little wiggly chord rolling backwards. If you've missed the previous lesson there's annotations here and there's also links in the description and also please do go for the first videos because in this one I'll be explaining chords that we already learned so I'm not going to give too much time on them. So here we go from where we got left off into the new strumming pattern. <laughs> tremolo uh, I'm not gonna play the whole thing because we're gonna do it in our next video I think it needs its own attention by itself uh, the strumming pattern is quite simple it's only four hits and uh, the chord progression is what makes it a little bit uh, funnyish but I think I thought about it quite enough to help you guys break it down in your mind along with me and we can play it together all right so we don't need the chords to start with just come a little bit closer sorry for the squeaky chair <laughs> All right, mute your strings with your left hand, softly touching without pressing, and we have a nice dead sound on our strings. Relax your right hand in a cup position like this. Don't stretch it out big or too small. Just relax where you have the best relaxation. You can see there's tension if you open too much, and it will just slow you down. And now just move it softly over the guitar strings. Now we're ready to strike down with the thumb. So we're gonna have a little twisty action, one. And when you twist down, also pinch in with your thumb so you have a soft closed punch. Not completely, just a soft one. One. And then twist your whole wrist back up again and come with the back of your thumbnail. Yeah, thumbnail. All right, with the back of your thumbnail up. That's count two. And back down again with the twist of your wrist, but this time with the back of your index nail. That's three, the only time you use the index in this pattern. And again, with the back of your thumb up, but this time use mostly your thumb instead of your whole wrist. So you can twist up and go to that first opening position. These are our four counts. Let's do them together slowly, muted strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. faster now I was playing over the circle of the guitar the whole of the guitar you can move slightly more to where the wood is here and play more the treble strings and you will start hitting by accident the back of the guitar I use this in Alpero Mobero video and I also have the percussive technique for it there but doing this technique you get this extra percussive sound But we do that after the chords up here, we do it on the lower one so it makes it a bit more noisy and more interesting with something extra added in. Alright, so practice slowly, slowly this pattern and let's put them into good use. We have a chord triple hit and it's repetitive. So we only do on the E chord four times. Again, we've learned these chords in our first video, four times, repetitive pattern. Then slide back up two frets on the E. That's four times again. Back down on the F. The second time around on the F, we only played twice the quadruple pattern. And now we're going to slide two frets more down with the same chord bar position on the G chord. Again, we play twice back up on the F twice and now we're gonna do a little swift change between G F G one time every time we touch there the pattern you 
can do it as many times as you like to build up. And right there, we want to lift up our middle bass, <clears throat> not bass throat, badass finger. <laughs> we want to move it right up and we have a G minor. And keeping that shape and sliding one, two frets more down, we have an A minor. We've learned it again in the first video. And here, we want to think that we're starting from the beginning by adding quadruple pattern again. Now change to the E bar chord. I'm going to put a video here again how to hold with two fingers the bar chords. Somewhere here on this E bar chord, I like to move, if you like, you can move to the more forward part and start having a little bit the percussive effect. Back up on the A minor. Back down again to our E. Only twice this time. And then go one fret more down from your bar chord, that from E to the F. Twice. And now here comes that little annoying chord. It's the same position, but one two frets more down, you're barring on the 10th fret uh, with your index and the 2nd, the 3rd and the 4th string with your either pinky or 3 fingers on the 12th fret and you plug only once and then back up again 2 frets and now we do again a swift change as we did up here 2 frets down, 1 fret up, 2 frets down, 1 fret up but I prefer to go just with the back of the nails, hit, hit, hit down. Now I know most of you here might feel that, hey, if I go one more fret up, it feels like it finishes. But we're doing this just like in the previous videos. We're doing it on purpose down here. So the change going to the tremolo will sound even more um, profound or more strong. All right, so I hope you guys like this video and it wasn't too confusing i tried in my mind for the past five days to find again uh the best way that i can explain it and show in more depth and under a microscope if you like what i do here and the next lesson we're going to cover up our tremolo it make sure you comment and rate like the video and come and find us on Facebook there's thousands of guitar friends there exchanging ideas videos their favorite musician or guitarist themselves playing as well and they get uh, lovely support from each and every one of us uh, almost on a daily basis I'm there welcoming every single one of you that will join our group and share your ideas with us so we can all grow together once again thank you for watching guys God bless See you on the next video.